I think this is good enough. I think this is as, as wig as it's about to get. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is my new um, filming space that I've decided to, to film things in for the time being. And this is where I'll do things like my vlogs and all the talky videos and diaper reviews and stuff like that. So, and I've got themed things because this part, this um, video is about the Feature Palooza Steven Universe party that I hosted for a bunch of littles in my town. So I have Squibbly, he's a jellyfish. I've got Henry, he's an octopus. Um, this snail here, he smells like baby powder because he has scent packets in him. Um, Killer Whale, misleading name. Uh, we got a ducky. I've got a great white shark. Um, and I've got this other whale. This is blue. He's a very shy whale, but they're in the same pod together and they love each other. Okay, so enough, enough about my stuff. He's a moron to the party. So I had a Steven Universe party and it was beach themed, named after the festival in the Steven Universe show. Um, and for those who don't know me, um, you might not know that I really love Steven Universe. It is a really special show for me because it handles a lot of, I guess, mature subject subjects um, in a really in a really good way. Um, I, the audience, well, I as the audience, never feel pandered to. Um, and there's a lot of like queer characters and characters that um, kind of seem poly and it's just a ah, I can't even use my words to describe how much I love it it's just amazing with representation um, yeah different genders people of color different body shapes and everybody's just as talented and special as each other and oh, I don't know, I'm rambling anyway oh we just driving me ah mental okay so for the party I dressed up as um I was calling it baby fire so sapphire but like a, a babyish version so this is my costume that I wore sans body paint because I put on the body paint and it lasted maybe 20 minutes before I started feeling sticky and gross and I just wanted it nowhere near me or my body so this is <laughs> this is the costume that I wore um, and yeah sapphire but a baby version so I got a shorter skirt so if I tip over then it's Dipey City <laughs> and it was it was a really fun costume to wear and then I had to get out of it if I wanted to go swimming which I did because swimming was a main a, a major part of the party so here's what we did People would come up to the door and they would pay their entry fee and where did I put them? They they would come in and we would give them these ones. So these are um carnival game tokens. So you spend you get five of them when you come into the party. You sp you spend one of your tokens, you give it to the person who's running the carnival game. And we had a ring toss and we had Steven Universe trivia, um, and we had a treasure hunt as well, but you didn't the treasure hunt was free to play. Um, and then you got uh, prize tech, like prize tickets, like you would at a regular carnival, and they could exchange them for prizes on our prize table. So we, it was it was big. So we had stuffed animals, we had bubbles, we had glow sticks, slime, kinetic sand. We had like matchbox cars. <laughs> it was it was really fun. And then if people got bored of playing the games, they could go and get into their swimmers, and they could go for a swim and because it was a really hot day it was a good thing to have the pool there otherwise we would have all melted we would have been ice block people um if they got bored in the pool then they we had a craft room set up that was called make your own meat mort because that's what art's called <laughs> in the show um and these are some of the meat morphs that people made so there's a fish so we had like on the craft table we had the usual suspects so we had googly eyes we had popsicle sticks we have feathers um, and people just ran with it. It was amazing. Um, the girl made a princess with yarn hair. 
very pretty. Um, Scepter. <laughs> and this guy. I like this guy. He's very cool. <laughs> and another Scepter. So, yeah. um, we had themed food as well. So I made... What did we make? We had chaps, obviously. Um, and we had watermelon. A watermelon Steven. And I made imperfect pork chops. I made hot dogs for dinner. And fry bits as well. <laughs> and as a special dessert, um, I had a cookie cutter 3D printed, and it's a cookie cat. So I made ice cream sandwiches um, out of brownies. They were so tasty. I really wish I was eating one right now. It was it was nice. Oh, and this is another meat mop. This is a pair of glasses that I made. They don't function very well as glasses, but I mean, they could be considered a look. I can. Put them on. Let's have a look. Okay. Um. Yeah. And we had Steven Universe music playing, and everybody was just having a really nice time. And at the end of the party, we were all just sitting around and talking together. And that was probably my favorite part. I'm gonna take these off. They're silly. <laughs> oh, I don't like wigs. I'm not a fan of wigs. Remind me in the future if I ever do another costume to not wear a flippin' wig. Um, yeah, it was my favorite part of the party because we were all just sitting around and talking and that sense of community makes me feel really special. Um, I always feel really grateful to be a part of the local ABDL slash Littles community um, whenever whenever I'm at those kind of gatherings. It's really lovely. So, yeah. I'm excited about the next party we're going to have. It doesn't really have a theme. We're calling it the Great Splunch, because it's a splashy lunch. So people are just going to come over and, and come for a swim. And then maybe we'll have some daiki times afterwards. Sounds really good. Oh, and this party um, was sponsored by Two, two businesses that I have a big <sighs> love for. So one was Littles Down Under and they supplied all of the padding for the party. So we had Crinkles and we had Better Dry, the white ones that I have on now. Um, and we had Foresight Under the Sea. So I picked all the sea themed ones. I have a problem with Little Squirts. I did not, did not request Little Squirts. They, but more in, more in an upcoming review, I will go ham on how much I do not like little squirts. <laughs> and he was really, he was generous enough to donate that for the party. And that was another moment that made me feel really, really proud of the community that I'm a part of because I'm just so supportive and wonderful. Um, the owner of the business is, is a lovely man and I would really recommend, um, patronizing his business it's he, he runs a, a, a very good shop um, the second one is uh, pastel kitten boutique so she I commissioned two pacifiers from her and she does decorated pacifiers like decadent passies and they're really beautiful I can show you a picture um, maybe if my papa is nice enough to put a picture here that would be lovely <laughs> um, and one was a Steven Universe themed one, and one was just blue and pink and cute. And we gave one away um, as a best dress prize, and um, a guy who was dressed as Greg from Steven Universe um, won the best dress, and we did a lucky door prize as well. And a lady who was dressed as Mystery Girl, the one that Pearl has a crush on, <laughs> so cute, um, won that one. And I think, I think people had a nice time. Um, I had a nice time, and I'm really feeling jazzed about running events right now, and about making content, and I'm going to force myself to stick to a regular schedule so that I can upload content for you guys, and I'm really excited about it. Thank you for listening to my rambling long thing about um, parties and stuff. I appreciate your...
viewership like as if I'm a TV personality I don't know I'm just I'm just a person who hates wigs and likes stuffed animals <laughs> so I'm grateful to you for, for watching watching my nonsense um, I hope you have a really lovely day and I'll see you soon bye everybody